is Janice here from Timeless Fluid Art. How are you doing? It's a beautiful day today. Kind of sunny and cloudy at the same time, so it's really not that bad. I'm going to be doing a test today. This is... I almost poured it without the top. Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring, Mate, pouring Paint. So I'm going to use this as a base coat. And then I'll be using some white. This is Liquitex White. And that's what I want you to see, that drippy, that consistency. This is Amsterdam Carmine Red. I love this color. Now, I mix these paints about 10 o'clock this morning because I wanted the ingredient that I put in it, which is Valspar. I'll show you. Let me. Somebody asked, can you show the bottles of anything I use? Here we go. That's a nice consistency, too. Can you see it? There you go. And then I'm standing up to show you all this. Uh, that was um, Liquitex um, Fluorescent Blue. And this is beautiful yellow. And these have been sitting here, just getting mixed. And then I'm gonna use a cell activator, which is Amsterdam White, with, it's a mixture of Floetrol and Midwax. I get the same basically thing when I just use water, but since I'm using a different base cut, I've added this. Okay, whoops, it would be nice to show you. I needed just a little bit more fluid, so I'm just to add a tad more Floetrol. And my Floetrol I just have in a peanut jar. Peanut jars are great because I have little hands and I can grab hold of this and just pour it in and not have a cow. So a lot of things come too big for me. And uh, so let me show you this. Mix this again. And here we go. Just a little bit better. Now I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It may look like crap. If it is crap, I won't post it. But anyway, let me show you my uh, Valspar, where is it? This is what I use for my pouring medium that I put in the paints. It's untinted, some high gloss paint. Well, it's not tinted, no paint. High gloss enamel paint, okay? And then, um, normally I'll use the house paint. Oh, this is a brand new container. But I'm not using it today, but in case you all, and you know, well, that has my brother's name on it because he bought it for me. Anyway, it's simply um, Glidden Interior House Paint. Okay, so let me rearrange a little bit here, and then I'm going to be putting the camera down. You'll be able to see what I'm doing. I also use my color wheel. Very important for those who don't know color theory to use a color wheel. This will tell you what colors you want to put with what. Um, I haven't decided which one I want to do yet, but I'm thinking it's going to be something simple. I'm going to swipe left to right, so, so I have plenty of room on this side to swipe. Okay, first things first, base paint, base coat. I've got to add some water to it because the only way it's gonna slide. So I'm gonna get my base coat. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. This is crazy, people. Really crazy. A little bit of water here. it up. Beautiful. And squish it around a little bit at the corners. I don't know why I worry about corners. I really don't know why. We can 
always get it, you know, when we do it. Okay. Let me throw some of this paint, more paint in here. Straight up. Okay. I'll have to fill that up after. Not right now, though. Okay. It's rock and roll, baby. First things first, green. I love this green. Oh my God, I love, love, love this green. So let's see, a little green here. And I'll move this over here. No, I'll move it over back here. And some blue. It's not mixed very well there, but that's okay. And some red. And I do have some of this white accelerator I did before. So I'm just gonna put a little, little dab will do me. Okay, and now my black. And let that sit a second. All right. I keep getting paint on me over here. Where the heck did I get that from? Sheesh. All righty. Let me get my my swiper. Oh, I need some black over here. Totally missed that. I make sure I got it down on every piece and then I swipe. Oh, what the hell is that? Why didn't that do anything? Hmm. This way first, guys, and that way. Oh, let me get that corner. Thought I got it, and I didn't. Get that corner. Roll back this way. Let me get that corner again. Come on, you can do it. Ah, oh, you can corners. You know you do them, but then they just disappear. Wow, what happened to my red? My reds disappeared. Got some gold. I don't even have yellow here, what the heck? Okay, <sighs> move this around this way. And now I wanna go this way. Got some gray ones in the middle, which are really looking cool. Wow. Get that corner. I like that corner like that. Come on. Okay. And then I want to get the other corner, so let me go around this way. And hold it this way. And get that way. And this is gorgeous. No red. But you know what? It's not hurting it. See it? I'm just gonna put a little white down there. Call that finished. Cool. Wow. Still gonna move, move more this way here. 
I have some thicker wood coming. It's easier to candle the thicker. This thin is really hard. I'm gonna get that off. So let me see if I can get it going. Come on. So slow moving. This is what kills my back. Having to wait for it to like do its thing, you know? It's starting to get over there. Come on. That's good enough. All right. This one is beautiful. I love it. Mm -hmm. And it's a keeper. Now, let me see if I can pick this up and put it where. Yeah, I think I have a spot back here. Took a while, but we got it. Alrighty. Didn't get me red, but we'll, we'll work on that. Let me show you what it looks like over here.